What's up there workforce, Chris here with work to game and today let's talk about how you can make over 100,000 MGP in under an hour. Those numbers are conservative. You should be able to make well over 100 and honestly, when I did this, this took me less than 45 minutes last week. Um, and so I think there are people that could do it even faster. And then of course there's MGP still being left on the table, but I'm sticking to only the most efficient options. Now this is with my PS4 load times. So we're gonna go ahead and show exactly how long those are. So I've intentionally started out next to my house so that I can go to Golden Saucer and you can see that these things are like 30 seconds to a minute or something absurd. Um, my PS3 was so much worse, but honestly, it's it's just something you learn to live with. Uh, so now that we are going ahead and moving into the Golden Saucer, there's going to be something you need to do every single week. So this is not 45 minutes in a single sitting. And then there's going to be a couple things you need to do just once a week at your convenience, um, keeping in mind that you cannot do the fashion report before Friday and you cannot do the, you cannot pick up your weekly uh, lottery ticket until Saturday. Um, but that one, I actually just do that on Tuesdays. I turn my, I gather on my old one and I turn my new ones in. Um, buy them, whatever the wording on that is, and it works just fine. So you can see that this load screen is very long, and this is a huge piece of that 45 minutes, is that I'm going to have to sit in this load screen a minimum of seven times, because I'm going to have to come here every single day of the week to make this money. Um, now, the mini cat pot has some gambling here, and so there isn't any way. I've gone ahead and said that I make at least 10,000 a week. I know I make more than that. I've made over 20,000 in a day multiple times, but you're gonna run here and you're basically going to purchase a mini cat pot ticket, and I've already played for today, but it's a tic-tac-toe style game where there is actually a calculator. Um, the, if you just Google mini cat pot, um, if you just Google mini cat pot solver, it will help you solve it. But basically I'm always looking for the three, two, one. If I can verify that there's not a three, two, one on the board, then I go for seven, eight, nine. If I have a choice between a possible seven, eight, nine and a possible three, two, one, I go for the three, two, one, even if I can only see one of the numbers. Um, so that takes me about two and a half minutes a day with load screen. The next thing I do is every single week while I'm here, these load screens are much faster once you're on like a local ethernet is I will go ahead and jump up to the cat pot board. Now the cat pot board, um, is where you do your weekly drawings. You're guaranteed to get your money back on this. I, my understanding is I've never gotten less than I put in. Um, and you have a chance to win a lot. I never have, uh, it's still worth doing. So you're going to run over to this cashier. You're going to turn in your tickets from last week. If you have any, uh, the only way you lose money on this is if you forget to do that, cause they do expire. You're going to run over to this broker and you're going to purchase tickets. Uh, you can see that the payouts can get quite large. You can end up winning like a million MGP and stuff. I have never won more than fourth prize ever. So I'm assuming that you're going to get three consolation prizes every single week, just like I do. Um, and that you're not going to get all this other stuff. And it's based on kind of the number of, of tickets and that how many are sold. There's 3000 sold and they're drawn every Saturday at 10 PM earth time. Um, which you can see right here, 6 42 PM. So I'm looking for four hours from now, um, at 10 PM. He has, are you already in time? Earth time, local time. There it is, local time. So I'm looking for nine hours from now on Saturday. Uh, so you're going to do that. And then that's going to take just a couple of minutes each week. And then you're going to do your weekly fashion report. Now your weekly fashion report is going to be down here in this room. You can go to Wonder Square West um, on the Ethernet. But if you really don't like using the Ethernet or whatever, it's not a far run. Nothing in here is. So we're gonna go ahead and run. You'll know you're in the right room when you see the giant cactar. If you need to take a full lap around the room, that's fine. You're looking for this guy right here, Mast Rose. Sometimes it takes me a lap or two to find him. Um, and you're going to talk to him and he is going to judge your fashion report. Now, if you want to be super lazy and you don't want to make 100K a week, you want to reduce it substantially, you can actually talk to him in the gear you're wearing and you will still be given 10,000 MGP. Thank you for playing. If on the other hand, you will go out and watch Mione's weekly video, um, or if you go out to Reddit or wherever your source is, then you can actually find out what it's needed. When I did it last week on stream, it was literally vendor items that totaled up to under 400 gil. And if you get it 
where your score is above 80, they will give you 60,000 MGP. 60,000 MGP is absurd considering it took me less than five minutes. Maybe 10 minutes if getting the items is a pain, but most of the time it's really not a big deal. Um, so the next thing you're gonna do is now that you have done those, those are the most efficient things. If you do nothing else, do those things. But now we're gonna jump into the challenge log and the challenge log has a section called Golden Saucer. You're going to wanna complete your uh, mini games. I usually, it takes me well more than three to, to get my 100 MGP, so it's going to take you however many attempts. Play whatever game you find enjoyable that you know you can actually win some money at because you want to get this 2500 gil. It's very easy to get for the minutes that it takes. The next thing is triple triad. Um, triple triad, if you don't want to get the battle hall one, the 2500 here, you can actually play this against a friend and you're giving up this eight, this 5500. Um, but the way you get to the battle hall is it's in your duty finder under this far right tab, gold saucer, triple triad battle hall. And you jump on in and then it's going to pop instantly, find one of the trainers, beat them at least three times, finish all your matches in there for the week, and you're going to get another 18,500 MGP for doing that. So now for doing those two weekly challenge log things, you've got another 21,000 MGP. Now on top of this, you can go ahead and have a free company buff. I believe this is just 10% at, at it, and you can actually beat that if you're willing to go do squadrons, and you can do the VIP card. You can only have one active, and I believe if they toss the free company buff up, it will overwrite this. So I always just default to the free company if it's active. Active, and if our free company has like, I don't know, crafting and gathering up, then I'll go ahead and use the card on myself. These are super easy to get. Um, so easy enough. There we go. Now, what have we got in total? So we've gotten, assuming 10%, we've gotten our 63,000 if we don't do the 10%. We've gotten 10,000 from our, our mini cat pots, probably more every week. It's hard to gauge that because it is random. And then we've gotten 21,000 for doing the challenge log things, totaling up to 94,000. And then if you add 10% or more, it pushes you to over 100,000 MGP every single week. Adding up all the time, it takes me about two and a half minutes each day to do the daily things. And then it takes me about 20 minutes to finish my triple triad. It takes me honestly like five to 10 minutes to do pretty much everything else. And so every single week, last week I spent 45 minutes doing this. So well under an hour. Um, this should take you no more than an hour. And if it is, you're probably going to get more efficient on it as you go. So that's over a hundred thousand gil in under an hour. And where you're gonna end up using that is you're going to end up using it for any of these weekly events or these, these seasonal events. Um, and so not weekly and so like when they added the Final Fantasy 15 uh, crossover event, which is going on right now at the time of this recording, that's 230,000 MGP. That's two weeks. It's it's honestly about the same number of calendar days as a lot of things like um, a lot of things like the uh, the Beast Tribes, but it's it's honestly like way less work. It's way less time. You don't even have to enjoy it. This is super fast stuff. Now, if you do enjoy it, go ahead and knock out your Chocobo races. Knock out Gates. Knock out uh, Lords of Verminion. Do two rounds of Mahjong. Whatever it is you enjoy. Um, it, it really is that easy. So we can go over to prize claim and you can see all these different things they sell and there's all sorts of glamour, there's mounts and they're constantly adding new things to the game. So no matter what they add, it doesn't matter if it's a million MGP, 2 million MGP, you know that you can make over a hundred thousand every single week. So you just do the math. Fenrir should take you 10 weeks or less at under an hour every single week. Uh, so I hope this helps. I hope this draw, you know, kind of makes things a little easier for those of you that are wondering how in the world do I get MGP? I don't want to spend a ton of time doing it. I've never done golden saucer. I don't think I'll like golden saucer, but I want these items. This is how you do it. Feel free to leave any additional tips, tricks, anything, you know, down in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. My name is Chris with work to game. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. YouTube has a pretty cool video waiting for you over here. Our latest vlog is down below. For those of you new, subscribe is over here, and uh, all of our other contact info is just right below me here. Thanks for watching.